the end of the day, my staff, like I said, we have 130 employees and we divide them up into departments. Okay. We okay. have the ball department. We've got the arcade department or the games department. We've got mm -hmm. the food and beverage department. We've got the facilities, which is the game or the mechanics, things like that. Yeah. Each department has its own. What they do with that is they have some competition between them. Okay. The other night, just on an early Sunday morning before we opened, we had 20 people that work in our bowl department, shift leaders, yeah. things like that. So there was mm -hmm. four shift leaders or five shift leaders, and they made four teams or five teams out of it, four on a team. And mm -hmm. they had a little friendly competition between them. They all lined up and they went out there and they divided up into five and they assigned one person to be the bowler. Okay. And it's, they all had to start at the same time. And if you got a strike, you got to go back. You had to run back to the game room and shoot in the basketball goal. And you had okay. to make five baskets. Mm -hmm. And then once you did that, then you went over into the bar area in the cornhole game and you mm -hmm. had to make three cornhole strikes. Okay. And then once you did that, then you had to go to the front and the, you got a little bartender spoon, which is a really small spoon. And you mm -hmm. got a little plastic egg on it. And you had to walk the concourse with that egg all the way to the finish line. Oh, oh yeah. my. They videoed it and the kids were just absolutely hooting and hollering. They, <laughs> it was a great time. I think as far as uh, bonding as a team, mm -hmm. they loved it. And I said, my manager came with this idea. So that's great. And then my mechanics did the same thing too. We have six mechanics. We got, we got a facilities guy. We have a head mechanic. And then they divided the teams into two and they made up this list. Okay, of all these different problems. They created this scenario. They mm -hmm. had to go out of town to go somewhere to an event. And we just had a, and the criteria said that we had a lock in the night before. We got eight machines down and we've got another buyout group coming in on Saturday morning. You got one hour and here's what you got to do. Mm -hmm. They gave them like eight different calls to fix. Yeah. But it, it wasn't just like that. They turned the music way up loud. Okay. They put headsets on there and they were talking all over the headsets. So they were trying to distract them as much as possible. Okay. You know? Yeah. So, oh my gosh. And the kids mm -hmm. absolutely loved it. They got the duo that won wasn't even the people that we thought were going to win. And, yeah. it, and it really gave us an evaluation of exactly where these guys are. Anyway, we went to talk to them afterwards to find out. And we gave the winning team, I think, two fifty dollars Visa gift cards and the mm -hmm. next guy got 25. They loved it. Yeah. In fact, I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> oh my yeah, god so, wow and that was that to me was so great because i said it builds team chemistry and these guys they just they're all well helping each other it's just a great great work environment I, I, yeah and, yeah so we're very happy with that i like that so it's almost like just coming up with a set of activities and they have to work together as a team to do it and then it also evaluates their performance but it's fun Ab absolutely hey did you like this video great we make five of them a week Subscribe to get more and to keep learning about what's working in the bowling industry. I'll talk to you then.